What's up, everybody? Um, <sighs> today's video is a little different. It's honestly, it's a video I did not want to do. But if I'm gonna be a hundred with y'all, then you know I have to do what I have to do. So here we go. Now, on my very first video, I stated that I was going on the liquid diet and um, I was going to give results uh, on Mother's Day. And as y'all know, anybody that has been watching my videos know that I have not put up a Mother's Day video or Mother's Day update on my weight loss. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be straight up honest with y'all that uh, that little challenge or that little experiment did not work now I'm not making any excuses it's all on me it's all on me but I will tell you what happened I um, I intended and I started out really good I you know I went at least four days uh, just the shakes and water tea um some orange juice you know lemonade you know stuff like that but no food at all and uh <laughs> oh boy and that was hard but i was i did it for four days i was straight i wasn't thinking about food i was doing it i was proud of myself and then my daughter came home with some uh curry chicken and first thing she said to me was, Ma, you want, you want some? And I should have said no. I should have said no, but I didn't. And once I tasted it, I was still good. I tasted it. I didn't eat no more. I just did a taste, and I was good. And then after the taste, um, you know, I went in the room. Then I started thinking about food. Food was on my mind after that. And then my husband came home and he had some, um, what is it, uh, he had some cabbage. He went to uh, the uh, restaurant and got him some, um, some cabbage, some, some cornbread, some baked macaroni and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> and he was eating it and he asked me if I wanted some because he wasn't going to be able to eat all of it. And... I told him, first thing I did try to fight it, first thing I said to him was ask the kids if they wanted it. He asked the kids, they said they didn't want it, so he was going to throw it in the garbage. And one thing I'm big on is, you know, not wasting food. I told him, I said, you know what, just leave it, I'll eat it. It wasn't much, but I told him I'll eat it because I would rather do that than to see it go in the garbage. Because growing up, my mother, my grandmother always told me, you know, waste not, want not. And then people out here starving and you throwing away food, you know, so we don't do that in my family. And not just in my immediate family, but in my whole family, we don't do that. So I ate the food and days after that, up until Mother's Day, I was eating a little here, eating a little there, tasting this, tasting that. But in the midst of me doing all of this, all this taste testing and, you know, I wound up gaining 15 pounds. So yeah, that's that that that's what happened. So I, I, I'm not gonna say I was ashamed of myself, but I was angry at myself because I didn't think that those little tastes and all of that would lead up to 15 pounds of gain, but it did, and I should have knew better. I should have knew better, um, but you know I did what I did, and I'm like I said, I'm not making no excuses because you know I. I know what I was supposed to be doing, and I failed. But, but see, the thing about dieting, everyone to some point or some capacity, some capacity has fell off. I'm not the only one. You know, nobody, well, at least nobody I know has ever gone at it straightforward, not failing, not taking a sample, not eating a little something they wasn't supposed to eat, or... Um, you know, doing a taste test of something, or uh, you know, I'm not the only one, you know, and so I'm not gonna beat myself up because the the fight is not over. It's not over. It it was just a setback. 
That's what I consider it, a setback. And I'm going back on my diet, but the only difference is this time I will be adding exercise to it. I'm not just going to be, you know, not eating stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to add exercise to it because I didn't add exercise the last time. And I just, I'm, you know, the only thing is, like, I wish that my family, my husband and my kids was a little more aware of what I'm trying to do, you know, and um, just not come in and offer me anything. And I'm not blaming them, you know, but you, you when you're doing stuff like this, you want to have somebody there that, and I'm not saying that they don't support me because they do. When I told them I was doing this. Uh, they was they was they were there for me and stuff like that. It's just that we are so used to um, being, you know, being um, what is it called, um, courteous and stuff like that. Like if if somebody comes in with food, they always offer. You know what I'm saying? My husband, he always when he's on his way from work, he 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 don't even call me half the time and ask me, "Do I want to eat?" He'll just bring me something home. And this has been going on since me and him first started dating. And it's just he's just the type of person and my kids are just the type of people that if you're home and they bring something in, they're going to automatically offer. So, I don't blame them for that. I don't blame them for for sharing and being that type of people to share I just you know wish they wasn't so used to doing it because even though they are uh, backing me up they still forget and they still have that mentality that if I bring something in the house I'm going to offer it and because of that you know sometimes I get caught up and you know I'm not going to sit here and say I forget what I'm supposed to be doing but it's kind of hard to say no so, you know, but I asked them, uh, I said, please, you know, anything, anything y'all bring in here, do me a favor. Don't even let me know that you're bringing anything home. Eat it in another room away from me so I don't see it, so I don't get tempted. And, you know, just at, at least until I've gotten this down packed to the point where, you know, I, I see it and can walk away from be like, up, oh, up. Oh. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not at that point yet. So I just would like a little bit of help to, to where I'm not around the food. I'm not tempted. I don't want any temptations. Candy, cookies, uh, uh, chips, whatever. I don't want any temptations. Just until I get a handle on this dieting thing. And then I'm okay. But, you know, I just want that little, that little bit of help. That little push. So... Uh, I was 260, no, I was 278, and I gained 15 pounds. So, you do the math. I don't even want to say the number. You do the math. I'm, I'm going to leave it up to y'all to do the math on that one. Go from 278, 15 pounds above that. So, so, you know, when I stood on a scale and I heard the number, I not, I'm not going to lie, I was... I was so upset. I was so angry. I was so peed off with myself. Um, because I know that it didn't have to. That could have been 15 pounds gone. Instead of 15 pounds gained. And I, I already know that I have a problem with my thyroid. Which is, is causes me to gain weight. And it prevents me from losing weight the way a normal person would lose weight. And I know this so that's even more reason why I should have been more straightforward with this diet and more determined than I was and I shouldn't have I shouldn't have allowed my um, my greed I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna just be honest I'm, I shouldn't have allowed my greed to get in the way of the process and the progress that I had made in those four days and so but I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to beat myself up. Because, you know, some of the best results out here has failed. You know, some of the, some, there's some people out here that has uh, had very good results with dieting. Very good results. But when they first started, they did stumble. They did fail. 
you know, they did have um, setbacks and stuff like that. So it's a process and it's not easy. You know, it, it's not easy for a lot of people, even people that seem to get on this here diet thing and they seem to breeze through it. You know what I'm saying? They have struggled from time to time. You know, there's temptations around you every day, especially now that it's, uh, we're going into the summer. You got the ice cream trucks. You got the icy machines that they selling, you know, selling ices out here. You got the stores out here with all kinds of treats and stuff like that. And sometimes you sit on your, your porch or your stoop and, you know, the ice cream truck will come perhaps. Ice cream! And you want to holler at them and wave them down and you know what I'm saying and you can't do that but it's hard especially once it starts getting really hot you know so it is what it is you know I um I decided once again that I'm going to lose this weight now me and my husband have a bet because he has to lose weight too but he's not he's not nowhere as big as I am but you know, he has to lose weight too. And we both, uh, he challenged me actually to lose weight, to lose 25 pounds by uh, July 3rd, 25 pounds down from where I am now. And um, I accepted his challenge. And so when, if he wins, I have to give him $500. If I win, he has to give me $500. No questions asked or nothing like that. Just hand it over. So the thing about it is, um, it has to be exactly 25 pounds. It can't be 24 pounds. It can't be 23 pounds or close to it. It has to be exactly 25 pounds or more. Meaning, if I lose 25 pounds... Or if I lose 26 or 27, anything, any uh, 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 weight amount that's above 25 pounds is still a win. As long as the tw as long as I'm past 25 pounds, I win. But it can't be less than 25. So I'm gonna win this one because I have a lot more. Um, what is it? Uh, <laughs> I, I, what is the word? Um, well, y'all know what I mean. But I can do it. I can do it. I mean, I've been around him when he's tried to diet. And he hasn't made it past, uh, I think, I think the last time he tried to diet, he made it a whole two hours, I think. And then he was like, I can't do this. <laughs> so I know that... You know, I did four days straight with no eating or whatever. So I know I can do it. As long as nobody's coming in and asking me if I want food, I know I can do it. So challenge on. You know, I accepted this challenge. And you're going to see me on the 3rd of July holding up $500 in my hand. Ooh, cash make the coochie go woo woo. And, and I'm going to be damn proud of it, you know. But naturally i'm trying to lose more than that but 25 is the goal for the bet but i'm going to i'm going to lose more than that i guarantee you that this time it's on i know where i messed up uh this last time and i know what i need to do to get where i need to get to and i'm going to do it I'm going to do it. I have faith in myself. I know I can do it if I put really, if I really truly put my mind to it, I know I can do it. So it's just, it's just a matter of being focused and not, not letting the devil get to me, you know? So with that being said, I just wanted to tell y'all my truth and let you know that I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be as honest. I'm not going to come on here and try to act like I'm somebody I'm not. I'm not going to try to tell you, oh, I, I lost this amount of weight. Oh, I lost this amount of weight. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. I, that. First of all, it's not me. I'm not a liar. And I'm not about to lie on, I'm not about to lie to y'all. So it is what it is, you know. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I need to do and I want everyone on YouTube that's watching this to hold me accountable and if I don't lose this 25 pounds by the third I want everybody that's watching this video to come on here and give me the business I want y'all to tear me a new one if I don't lose this weight by the third if I don't lose 25 pounds by the third of next month you know I don't care what you say you can come on here and call me all kind give me the business if I don't lose 25 pounds by the third of next month but until then I'll see you again I'll, I'll be uh, posting another video up soon okay later y'all